The side plank is one of my favorite core exercises of all time, but there's so many different things going on with it, and I oftentimes see it performed incorrectly, so let's walk through everything there is to know to do this right. All right, we're gonna start on our elbow with your arm out in front of you. Now from here, it's really important to make sure that your shoulders stack on top of your elbow rather than you're having your arm way out in front of you or way back behind your shoulder. Okay, so that's important. You might have to change that, adjust it during the actual side plank once you're in your full position. We also wanna make sure we have a straight line going from our head to our shoulders, to our core, through our core, and through our hips, and all the way down to whatever is going to be on the ground, whether that's gonna be our knees or our feet, okay, whatever position. We also wanna make sure that our hips are stacked and our shoulders are stacked so we're not rotating up toward the ceiling or rotating down toward the floor. Everything should point out to the side of the room. All right, for a level one, you can be on your knees, lift your hips up, squeeze your glutes, find that perfect side plank position. Do we have stacking? Yes, we do, cool, and hold this. You also have an option to extend one leg out, your top leg out. Now, if you are ready to advance this exercise, you can stagger your feet so your top leg is out in front of your bottom leg and now lift your hips up, squeeze your glutes, contract your abs, Whew, hold here. And for a more advanced version still, you can stack your feet on top of each other. So you can always start with the knee options, one of those two, and then work your way up to a full side plank position and hold. 